Hello everyone, welcome at ISO Academy. In this tutorial, we will talk about Team Chat here on Web Client, one of the most powerful tools while working in Team, that is Team Chat. If you can't see the Team Chat icon, which is right this one, on the left menu, you probably don't have it configured yet. To see Team Chat configuration, please search for another video dedicated to administrators explaining how to set up and configure Team Chat in Web Client or even on your desktop. Oh, yes! There is a standalone version of TeamChat for desktop, where you can use several accounts at once. TeamChat is a collaboration tool allowing you to share your ideas, files, invite others to web meeting, or organize a regular meeting for all team members. To understand TeamChat correctly, I should mention a few keywords. Groups. That's a definition of team. Team members can then create rooms. Rooms is a place for team conversation each for major topic or project. And members? Each room can have both internal and external users, guests. So you have to have some rights assigned by either administrator of the server or room administrator to be able to work in these rooms. Team chat interface may seem a bit complicated at first look, but it's pretty easy to get into it. Here on the left side, you can decide if you prefer to see all groups and rooms in them or just those which you have been recently visited. Underneath, there are groups I am member of, like all departments, IT, marketing X1. Underneath those groups are rooms I have access to. Each room then have four tabs. The chat room, where all the conversation happens, files and documents, as filtered list of all files or documents shared here. Then we have pretty the same list of all events shared within the room, and last one, list of all members. But now, let's move on to the chat room here. As you can see, my colleagues already share here their comments, ideas, files, documents, links, and so on. What I can do here, beside of reading it, is commenting it. So let's comment here, Celia version 1. To comment the post, I have to go here and click comment. That will arise a new dialog where I can do my comment. I can also mention Celia to let her know that I talked to her. And that's it. Beside of commenting, I can for sure also like it or use other emotions. Or also pin the post. Pinned posts then appear here on the right side under pins. Public pins are visible to all members, where private pins remains just yours. Next to pins, I can also see whether someone has mentioned me in the conversation of this room. To create a new post, just go down here and type what you'd like to post. Or you can use this plus icon, where you can invite someone as a guest of this room, create new documents using ISO web documents, share existing file, which can be stored in your web client or uploaded from your computer. And then of course, you can also create the web meeting or regular meeting invitation. So I'd like to share a new presentation template for them. And I should have it right here in my documents. This one, modern design. Let's type there also some message for them. Click OK. And it should automatically appear in a chat room. As you can see, Celia is now watching the conversation in the chat room. Oh yeah, here next to the name of the chat room, you can see the avatars or icons of everyone who is right now online in this chat room. But now I have to update our development budget file, which should be here in the development room. Yeah, this one. Great thing about TeamChat is that I can easily open any office document right here, edit it, and everyone has immediate access to this updated version. That's great! So that was TeamChat, topic which is binded also with ISORP web documents functionality, which I covered in following video. Thank you for your attention and see you there! Bye! Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I also recommend you our next video, which is as well related to ISORP. See you there! Bye!